Hey folks, uh, part two here of our final project tutorial. So part one was actually probably the toughest and the part that I'm hoping you spend the most time with. Uh, just thinking about what would be the sections to your song. Like I said in my previous video, aim for four to five sections of mixing and matching various instruments. Think about how typical songs kind of build up with their structure, maybe starting with uh, one single instrument, then kind of adding layers as you go and reaching up to kind of a final crescendo um, in your song. So um, actually today we're gonna be switching over into GarageBand, our good old friend, but just double checking that you have, again, exported all of your sections into your files of your iPad. So if you're confused what I mean by that, then head on back to video one. That would be kind of the last section where I explain that. But today, like I said, we're going to hop over to GarageBand and uh, create a new project, clicking the plus sign there. You're probably on tracks here, and we're going to actually head over to the live loop side, something I wish we could have spent more time on in class, but we did make a loop project, so this shouldn't be totally foreign. We're going to go ahead and add a new loop, or create a new loop. Nice. So um, remember these loops are kind of set up where you can add individual instruments here and then each of these boxes represents a sound bite or a sound file that you can place into different sections. So the sections in GarageBand actually kind of work vertically up and down this way. And I'll, that'll start to make sense as we start to add things. So we're actually not even going to add an instrument, uh, but what we're going to do is tap on our first cell here and tap once again and you're going to be selecting loops and our ipads come with a whole bunch of nice loops but what we want to do is actually switch over to the files tab here and you probably are seeing nothing in this screen right now um, i have two files listed here just because i was messing around earlier practicing but what you want to do is follow my pointer down here and tap on Browse Items from the Files app. So if you went ahead and named all your sections like I suggested, um, you should see them kind of listed in probably uh, descending order like mine here. So what you want to do is one by one kind of add each section of your song that you created in um, Groovebox. X, these are the files that got exported. So these are just WAV files now that our iPad is, is holding for us. So I'm gonna start with section one here and tap that open. And I've noticed it kind of takes a moment to refresh the list here and then you have access to your file. So you're just gonna tap on section one or make sure you've selected the right thing. And then once you're feeling like that's the one, then you're gonna click on that little down, almost looks like a download button to me and now as you can see it's it's um created this new track here it's calling it a microphone or it's it's labeling it as a microphone but really it's just a sound file now and to activate that all i have to do is tap on it and this is how we're going to start to kind of build the structure of our song and allow GarageBand to handle all the timing when we go to actually record this thing. And we're going to add another couple layers on top of this. But let's take a moment and add the last four sections of our song in order here. So this was, if this was section one, then I'm going to tap over into this cell here. Go back to loops. Click down at the bottom again, browse items from the files app. I'm going with section two. And um, I think that was from a previous project I had done, but um, let me see here if I can find it again. Yesterday. Yeah, I think I'm okay with it. I'm just going to throw it in. So anyways, I think that's my section two that I want. So I'm going to throw that into my second cell here. And then my third cell, I'm going to tap on loops. Browse items, section three, and so 
there's my section three, and then record into cell. Whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I do not want to record into cell. I want to loop section four. So I think I have the wrong section two here, but that's okay. So it's kind of good. Though. Nice. So I'll try and clean my project up and get ready for the next steps here, but see if you can take that step of getting your sections of your song loaded up as sound bites into GarageBand. And then, like I said, in part three, we're going to add our kind of cherry on top here, and I'll probably get to that by Monday of next week. So give it a go. See if you can get your files into GarageBand. Let me know if you have any issues with that. Good luck.